Hi guys, this is Dr. Ruben. Today we are going to solve problems to calculate form factor and peak factor. First of all, let's recollect what is form factor. What is form factor? Form factor is the ratio between RMS value and average value. Hence, form factor equal to RMS value divided by average value. Next, we can see what is peak factor. Peak factor is the ratio between maximum value and RMS value. Peak factor equal to maximum value divided by RMS value. And maximum value is nothing but the amplitude of the waveform or the height of the waveform. Next, what is average value? Average value can be calculated by dividing area under the curve by the base. So average value equal to area under the curve divided by base. Next, RMS value. RMS value is the square root of squared area of the curve divided by base. RMS value is the square root of squared area of the curve divided by the base. How will you calculate area of standard wave shapes? There is a rectangle. Area of the rectangle is can be calculated as base into height. Triangle is there. Area of the triangle can be calculated using the formula half into base into height. How to calculate squared area? When you square and curve, the base is not going to change but height will be squared. So, squared area of a rectangle is base into height square. Squared area of triangle is 1 by 3 into base into height square. Normally, area of a triangle is 1 by 2 into base into height, but when it is squared, it becomes 1 by 3 into base into height square. Now let us go to the problem. Find the form factor and peak factor for the following two waveforms. First one is the sawtooth waveform and second one is the trapezoidal waveform. Let us see how to solve this problem. And this is the sawtooth waveform. The base for this curve is T. The shape is triangle, so area of the triangle half into base into height. Here base is T and height is IM. So half into T into IM. Next squared area of this triangle that is 1 by 3 into base into height square. So 1 by 3 into base is T and height IM squared. Thus average value is area divided by base. So area 1 by 2 into T into IM divided by base T that gives 1 by 2 into IM. RMS value equal to square root of squared area divided by base. So squared area 1 by 3 into T into IM square divided by base T that gives square root of 1 by 3 into IM square which gives IM by root 3. Now we can calculate the form factor which is nothing but RMS value divided by average value. 
so when you divide the rms value i m by root 3 by its average value i m by 2 we are getting 1.15 peak factor is the ratio between maximum value and rms value in this curve maximum value is i m which is divided by the rms value i m by root 3 so the answer is root 3 that is 1.73 next we can go to the next problem that is find the form factor and peak factor of this trapezoidal waveform look at this trapezoidal shape it comprises of two triangles and a an rectangle the two triangles are of same size and there is a rectangle the base of the triangle is 1 height of the triangle is 5 similarly the base of the rectangle is 2 1 2 3 that means 2 and the height of the rectangle is 5 here the base is taken as 4 so base equal to 4 area equal to area of one triangle is half into base into height so half into 1 into 5 there are two triangles so into 2 plus area of the rectangle that means base into height 2 into 5 it gives 15 next squared area area of squared triangle 1 by 3 into base into height square so 1 by 3 into base 1 into height 5 square there are two such triangles so this area into 2 plus area of squared rectangle base into height square so 2 into 5 square which gives 66.67 Hence, we can calculate the average value, area divided by base. So, 15 divided by 4, 3.75. RMS value is square root of squared area divided by base. So, square root of 66.67 divided by 4, that gives 4.08. Form factor is RMS value by average value. So, 4.08 divided by 3.75 that gives 1.09 peak factor is maximum value divided by rms value so maximum value 5 divided by rms value 4.08 that gives 1.2 so for both the curves we know how to calculate form factor and peak factor and next we are going to solve a different type of problem where the shape is not the standard shape uh, for which formula is known. Instead of that, the equation for the curve will be given. Say for example, a sine wave. This is a sine wave. So for the sine wave, we have to find the form factor. Equation for the curve is sine theta. So if you want to find the area under the curve, we have to integrate sin theta with respect to d theta if you want to find the area of the squared curve we have to integrate sin square theta with respect to d theta so shall we proceed so base is 180 degree that means pi we are considering only one half cycle because it is a symmetric waveform and the area under the curve integral of 0 to pi sin theta d theta so we have to integrate sin theta so what is integral of sin theta it is minus cos theta limits 0 to pi so take that minus outside and uh, apply upper limit minus lower limit so minus of cos 5 minus cos 0 what is the value of cos 5 minus 1 cos 0 is 1 so minus of minus 1 minus 1 
it gives 2. Average value equal to area divided by base. So 2 divided by 5, 0 0.64. Squared area, area under the squared sine curve. That means integral of 0 to 5 sin square theta d theta. So if you want to integrate sin square theta, you have to express in terms of cos. Sin square theta equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2. So integral of 0 to pi, 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 d theta. Now integrate this. Integration of 1 d theta is theta. Integration of cos theta, cos 2 theta is sin 2 theta divided by 2. So I have taken that 1 by 2 outside. Integration of 1 d theta is theta minus of cos 2 theta integration sin 2 theta divided by 2 within the limit 0 to pi. If you apply the limits, the answer will be pi by 2. So RMS value equal to square root of squared area divided by base. So that is 1 by root 2 which is 0 0.71. Hence form factor equal to RMS value by average value. RMS value 0 0.71 average value divided 0 0.64 0 0.71 divided by 0 0.64 is 1.11 hence the form factor for sine wave is 1.11 so for practice you can solve another problem find the form factor of half rectified sine wave and fully rectified sine wave. You can try it by your own. Find the form factor of half rectified sine wave and fully rectified sine wave. For queries, you can contact me. Thank you. Bye bye.